Hi friends, thank you so much for checking out this video on the Tish Bullet channel. Recently, I was asked to design a bridal shower at a restaurant, and along the way, I grabbed five easy tips to share with you just in case you have an upcoming party or shower at a restaurant. Let's take a look. Tip number one, determine the logistics. This is where you'll need to know what your space looks like, what is provided in the space, um, are tables and chairs there, what size they are, how long do you have to set up and even break down, and find out what can you bring and what can you not bring. Hosting a shower at a restaurant is probably one of the easiest places to to host them in my opinion because most restaurants are going to provide the linen and even the serving wear so your big responsibility will be to provide centerpieces and personalization tip number two plan your design based on your space so if you're able to i would suggest beforehand visit the restaurant where you're going to host the shower and find out what room or what space you will be hosting take pictures if you have to if you're not able to physically go to the location check their website to see if they have a room photo on their website so you can base your design that's what i did and then based on what was already available in the room, I did a few mock-ups in my studio, took pictures, and packed only what I needed because I knew that setup time would be very limited. So that would be the biggest thing is to know your space before you jump right on in to decorate so that you can only pack what you need and you'll never go wrong with sticking with a theme or color concept. Tip number three is to personalize your space. Although you are in a restaurant, you still can personalize the space. I believe that if you stick with your theme or your color scheme, you can do exactly that. With this particular bride, that's what we did. We brought in our own table runners and we personalized frames that made it feel like it was her moment. And our centerpieces were based on the colors that she loved and she wanted for her shower. Now we also checked with the whole, um, not the hotel, but the restaurant to see if it would be okay if we could bring in our own napkins and chargers. And it was okay. That's what we did. We went against the plain white and black and we used napkins that coordinated with her theme. Tip number four is to treat your guest. Yes, you can still treat them and have a great time at a restaurant. So be sure to bring your games, personalize the game booklets and put them at each place setting. And if you want to bring menus, that will be totally fine. Just make them coordinate with the shower. Now we contacted the restaurant prior to the shower to see if it would be okay if we could bring in our own desserts and treats. And this particular restaurant was okay with it. So we mapped out a little space in the room for a beautiful desserts table. Now we got with the cupcake decorator to see if she could deliver them at the same time so that we wouldn't run close to the start of the shower. The time slot is very limited, so we worked that out great. And of course, we brought in some personalization to this table. Now, if you plan it very well and you know where vases are going to go and platters are going to go, you can definitely pull this off within a short period of time. And your guests will absolutely love this. These treats are for them to take away and they have something beautiful to look at at the shower. 
tip number five is don't forget the games and the gifts. I mentioned that before, but I think people automatically assume they're going to be games at a shower. So you want to already have your games lined up. If you have door prizes, have those prepackaged and ready to go. Now, for this particular bride, she did not want to have to tote a bunch of gifts um, and big boxes away from the shower. So she asked guests to provide gift cards and we just set a little gift card station up on a beautiful cocktail table. Here's the bonus tip. It's really not a tip, it's a given. Make sure that the guest of honor is happy. Make sure that the things that she requests you're able to provide in one way or the other. If she's happy, we all will be happy. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that these tips were easy enough for you to put in your arsenal of party planning. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And be sure to like and subscribe to this video. So like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And even share this with your friends. I'd love to meet them and meet you. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Tish Bullard and at Tish Bullard Events. If you have ideas or suggestions on what you would like for me to cover on this new channel, please leave a comment below or you can email me. My email address is hello at tishbullard.com. I had a great time with you and until next time, design and live the life that you love. Have a great day, friends. Bye.